welcome back to sophisticated beauty so today i'm going to be doing a kind of vlog slash video on refreshing my curls because i have not refreshed my curls since i washed it which was on monday so it's exactly six days ago so i'm going to be refreshing my curls i'm going to show you the products that i use to refresh them i've also got a video of the kind of wash day routine I'll probably put that on a card somewhere here and also it will be linked in the description bar below so I'm just gonna get my products sit down show you how I refresh my hair we're going to be refreshing these curls it's like it's it's frizzy it's feeling a bit dry it's the day before wash day it needs to be done so I'm just gonna take out these hair clips I'm only gonna be using a couple products. I moisturise my scalp with jojoba oil. Actually, I'm using this brand at the moment. Um, it was like a leftover amount that my mum had gave, given me. Um, this is really great for moisturising your scalp if you have dry scalp. Um, castor oil is quite good, but it is quite um, sticky, oily, thick, and jojoba oil is a little bit lighter, so I kind of go between both. So, um, what I'm going to be using is my hands to just be finger to tangle and I'm going to be using just like a soft brush just to kind of smooth down the edges and I'm going to just be using this clip to like clip up my hair pretty much out of my face and let my hair kind of air dry. So I got one of these spray bottles on Amazon, amazing, I'll try and link this below, it's actually the best one. I feel like I've done this in a video before but it depends on when the video goes out so it just like sprays out just so amazingly just like just like a nice mist best spray that I've ever had actually I've had many water bottle sprays and this is the best because it's actually meant to be for like um for refreshing your curls and stuff well I think that's what it is aimed at for curly hair but um yeah you can use it for so many other uses as well i'm sure and even on beauty related for spray bottle so i'm just finger detangling my hair that i've literally dampened i'm thinking to probably do this video next time as like a voiceover so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that i don't mind doing like sit down chat chit chat one and just kind of doing the pro hands a little bit as well just to kind of define the curls. I don't want to make my hair too damp, so I think this is like perfectly tangling damp. So hair fall wise, it's not much, because I'm finger detangling, so I don't know if you can see in that brush, but it's not a lot, yeah. So I'm gonna just do the other side. I'm just gonna dampen this side. So once I've done this side, I'll probably just, um, go over to the other side and start to moisturise so I'll be back <laughs> once I've done this part all done so now I've finger detangled both sides I'm going to unclip both sides of my hair so hopefully the background noise is not too loud because the shower is actually on but it's still daylight so I'm like I have to film um, it's actually currently 3 o'clock so sun sets around about maybe four so we are in like january at the moment so it just gets dark really quickly um so i'm going to be using what i used in my previous video which is the curlade by camille rose it smells so good it's so amazing so i'm just going to be using this using this as the moisturizer um so i'm just going to use this as a standalone i'm not going to be using any leave-ins i'm literally just going to be using this just to see what it's like on its own just to refresh my curl and i'm just going to use about that amount i don't know if that's going to zoom in but about so i'm literally just going to coat that over my strands of my hair <laughs> and literally just work that in and it's just instantly i can feel that hydration like it's just locking in that moisture from the water and all the other products that i had in my hair well the products that i had in my hair from monday because i literally barely touched my hair 
I think I did a couple hairstyles, just simple hairstyles in my hair. Um, and then I just used like gel just to kind of restyle and tame the edges. And then you can just like scrunch it, but I'm just gonna literally leave that now. I'm just gonna get that bit out of my face and just use the pink hair clip. Sometimes I just leave my hair like this if it's summer and let it air dry. Sometimes I style it. I think I'm gonna end up styling it today um, at some point once it's dried. Um, so I'll try to video it once it's dried, but I may even do um, my camera in my hair actually, or braid or whatever you call it. I'm not actually sure what it's called, but I learned how to do it not long ago, um, a couple months ago. And just over time, I just kind of moved more practice. I just got better at it. So yeah, weather's actually decent today to film. It's not raining, it's not gloomy or cloudy, because usually it is. It's not overly gloomy, it's like normal clouds. So um, yeah, it's not, it's not that rainy kind of looking clouds. <laughs> So it's a lot brighter today. So just doing the same amount on the other side, detangle that, and it's just so much more easier to glide through even more now because I've already detangled it with water. And then now I'm just gliding over with the product. You can do the prayer hands as well. <laughs> I just popped on this jumper, it's super old may get rid of it but I just thought I'd wear it for this video because I had to um pop out so it's just a lot easier to wear this jumper so now that side is done so I'm just going to use two grips so one on probably each side of it can hold um I'm not sure I'm going to bother using any gel on the edges because I had gel on my hair yesterday and I think it's still kind of you know when the product's still there it's still got that hold so I'm just going to get a smoothing brush just to smooth it out because I actually haven't smoothed my hair out in a while actually I'm trying to not really touch my edges too much so that's what it's looking like right now actually I'm going to use some um, gel yeah eco style gel it has a really strong hold so I try not to use too much of that in a week, probably like once or twice a week uh, because I like to try not to put any gel in my hair. Use my smoothing brush again and just smooth that side. So this is like a, just a really simple hairstyle that I can do um, before wash day or a few days before wash day if I'm just wanting to refresh my curls. So just do another flat twist on my head and then grip that into place pretty easily. So it's like my go-to because it's just out like half out of my face but then I'm still able to like let my hair air dry and then I'm just gonna finish off with the prayer hands. I'm actually liking the prayer hands because it just gives your hair a bit more definition. So that's that on that side to wait about an hour and it takes about an hour to dry because it's not thoroughly wet so I'm just going to tilt my head to the side so you can kind of see what it looks like looking good that is pretty much it what I do for refreshing my curls I'm just going to do a bit more rest of my vlog of what I'm up to for my day and my breakfast so I've made um, some guacamole with avocado a nice soft boiled, well soft, <laughs> a nice soft fried egg, sausage, chicken sausage and toast. Yum. Just going for a little walk. So yesterday I went to um, video afterwards but I had a lovely massage uh, because basically I get a lot of backache and neck ache and I go to see my physiotherapist regularly and she does like massage and acupuncture and it's really really good highly recommend it um, but she's really good like the firmness is fantastic exactly what I need sometimes she goes a bit more firm sometimes on different days but just wanted to kind of 
come on here and talk about how good it is i definitely would recommend physiotherapy or sports massage um because they do it a little bit more deeper for me and they can kind of work on the areas that have a lot of tension and also i had like a lot of tension um a lot of ache under my ribs and that really helps she did like a little massage under my ribs as well which is great so i want to talk about a little bit about that um i think it was pretty good but i feel like i'm getting really out of breath now walking and talking i'm kind of going up a incline but yeah just enjoying the nature so anyway i'm gonna continue walking before it gets dark aren't these roses just beautiful Wow, so many. I can't wait to put these in a vase. Especially for you. <laughs> Just like the song. I also got this bottle Prosecco. I've actually got one already, like a pink one. I'll have to show you guys it at some point. But I probably will open this one on Valentine's Day. Because um, the pink one, I think I'm going to save that for my mum's birthday coming up soon. So, yeah. Cheers. So I've got this beautiful looking delight here from Casper's. I didn't even know that they did this. So strawberries with chocolate. How nice. Okay, so I deshelled these oysters. <laughs> so I got these yesterday for today, for Valentine's Day, as part of my gift. Um, I'll definitely show a little video of what I got. Um, I think I already did the roses already because I got them a couple of days before, which was nice. So anyway, I've got my oysters. I deshelled them thanks to YouTube. I actually did figure it out. It was a bit difficult. It went flying all over the kitchen a little bit, to be honest. But I'm going to clean it up in a bit. So anyway, I'm going to have it with lemon and Tabasco sauce. I love oysters. It's not for everybody. But you know, it's something that I like. I like going to Brighton and getting them. They're a lot cheaper or even just nice restaurants um, also do them and I just absolutely love these. These are apparently from Scotland and on the label it said it was um, provided by, by Tesco's. So they must have sourced that yesterday and it came straight to Tesco's. Not bad. <laughs> hey, I'm a fisherman now. My new job. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy these. The beautiful roses that I received, I have received these a couple of days ago now. I actually need to um, put them in the vase a bit better because um, it's a little bit crowded at the bottom. But these are so beautiful. So many roses, so lovely. I actually haven't counted. And then I got an extra rose. <laughs> so that one's a bit bigger. It was just like a one single rose. And then I got these gifts. So I got lovely rainbow chocolate roses some dessert collection chocolates and then i got a pandora ring which is so beautiful um it's like a nice love heart ring and i love pandora so i can go with the rest of my collection of pandora rings um just absolutely love pandora jewelry and then i got a notebook that says be my valentine and a lovely pen with a heart how cute <laughs> so this i got sunday glass so for like a little sunday ice cream with like marshmallows so cute and then as you could see in the background i got um a weebix box i received pandora and these and the book uh the notebook with the pen and then this is my card that i got then I got some more Prosecco and a Yankee candle. Got so many candles as presents. It's like, wow. Um, and then, yes, yeah, some Rosé Prosecco. And that's what it, it came in this bag. And that's what I got. And then I got, obviously, my oysters as well. But this is just so cute. What I got, I was really, really happy. These chocolates are so good. Like, I know I showed these before, but these are so unreal. Me and my mum's got through these chocolates. I've had, like, I've had two each, because there's three of each one. So, basically, this is, like, the Lily O'Brien. You can get it from, like, any supermarket. And out of these, I like all of them, to be honest. But my favourite, I would say, is the creme brulee, the key lime pie, and the lemon posette closet whatever however you say it and the hazelnut tort absolutely love this like they're so like luxury 
Okay, I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna do the lemon pose out so you guys can see how nice they look inside. So most of them have like a layer inside, so this has got like a layer, a bit like a um, meringue. I think they're really, really nice. I definitely would recommend these. Very nice. Mostly just trees right now. If we come back, you can see ahead all the hills and all the snow. Already. also share this video with people that may be interested in this types of videos and also like and comment if you like the video and also comment what you'd like to see next time and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>